in this problem we have to split a string into different partitions so let's say we have a string it has 12 characters and all the characters are small english case letters from a small a to small g so let's say we split it into three parts first part has six characters second has four third has five so total it has 15 so let's make it 15 so this partition should be such that all the occurrences of a given character should be within the same partition itself so let's say it had a b a c d a f then you see that a is occurring here so we find where else a is occurring a is occurring here here so all the a's should be within the same partition so if we are partitioning at this place then a should not occur anywhere else otherwise we, we would have included that in the same partition and if you take the complete string then that also is a valid partition and that will satisfy this con condition but we are uh, required to find the maximum number of partitions not maximum number of partition but length of each partition so we have to split it into as many partitions as possible so let's say we have a b c d e f all characters are distinct then its length is six here so you can do it into six partition each of them can be in separate partition because all the occurrences of a will lie in this they are single occurrences so let's see a more concrete example Let, let's say we have this string so what algorithm we will follow so we will start traversing from the left so we find that first character j so what is the condition that we have to include all the occurrences of that character in the same partition so this will be there will be some partition here starting here in the beginning so this will include this character a for sure but where this partition should end so we have started here so let's look for all the occurrences of a so a is occurring here here and here after that you see that there is no occurrence of a in this part so clearly at least this part we have to include in the same partition so let's write a b a b c b a c a this is the last occurrence of a so this is in same partition so i have written in yellow now uh, what else do we need so here clearly you see that while at uh, traversing this string whenever we find a character we need to know its last occurrence so we need one last occurrence index so we will calculate all of these we are just writing down the requirements this is one requirement then from the first occurrence to the last occurrence there will be different characters that will be occurring so this is one partition so if some character is occurring here then it has to occur completely in this partition only if it occurs up beyond this partition then you need to extend this partition so now begin is here end is here now you see that we also have b so you see what is the last occurrence of b so you see that b is here so that is within this range only so no need to extend then we come to next character next is again a last occurrence is this so it's within this no need to expand again b no need to expand then we have c where is the last occurrence of c uh, it's here so no need to extend then b a c a now this we have reached a which was same as end so what we will do when we reach the end then we know that we have covered everything in this partition so all the characters we have accounted for whenever we reached a character we checked what is the last occurrence of this if that was more than e then we would have extended e to that position so now we include this in the output so it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so this is one partition this yellow thing and its length is 9 so we include it in the result 9 next this begin will start from here this partition has ended here so just forget it we have already added it and let's make a fresh start so now begin is here end will be the last occurrence of d so where is last occurrence of d it's here so e is here now let me write it in blue color d e f e g d none of these characters will now occur so it's like a fresh start so uh, so begin is here end is here so next we come to this character we see what is the last occurrence of e 
its hair so we see that it's more than e so let's move e here because we will need to include if this character has started in this range then better include all the occurrences of this otherwise it will be invalid so if its last occurrence is more than the current end then extend the end so now end is here this is gone so e is included here now we have f what is the last occurrence of f this only then e again last occurrence is here so it's within the range then g what is the last occurrence of g this itself so it's within the range then d it's also within this range then e now we have reached the end so whenever we reach end we know that we have accounted for all the characters so let's include it in the result so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so we put 7 here and then forget this part this part is done now uh we make a fresh start as usual so we have begin here so what is the last occurrence of h so we have h i j h this is the last occurrence of h so e is here now we come here so begin is here and current is now here we move the current it's i so what is the last occurrence of i it's here so is it more than end yes so we need to extend e so e will now come here so k l i this is the extended partition and end is pointing here next we come here j what is the last occurrence of j it's here is it more than e yes so you need to extend the j e so e is here next we come here it's within the range it's last occurrence again within the range within the range within the range within the range now again the current is same as current pointer is same as the end so let's include it in result so it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 eight. and now we have reached the end of this string so we return the result so i hope this is clear so what things we need we just need the last occurrence that's it and how we will get the last occurrence just make a one pass of this string and we have just 26 characters small a to small g so this will be at index 0 this will be at index 25 and whenever you find any character update its index so you keep it in an array of integers of size 26 and let's say you found b at index 5 so you write arr uh, b will be at index 1 equal to 5 next if b occurs again let's say at index 12 then this will automatically be overwritten and this will always be holding the last occurrence so let's write the code for this if you understood this writing the code should be quite easy so end index the last occurrence 26 0 so this pass is just for keeping track of the last occurrence so uh, we have to subtract the sky value of a so its sky value is uh, 97 then for a it will be 0 for b it will be 98 minus 97 that is 1 and so on now this last index is ready for us now we will write the main algorithm so this is the result that we need to return and we are keeping track of start and end start is 0 initially and end is also 0 initially and then again we will scan this string character by character so we in when we get uh, we, when we find any character we check what is the last occurrence of that character so it will be end idx 
s of i minus a so this is the last occurrence of current character if it's more than end then end will be updated so that is what we have been doing here and when did we add it to result when i or the current was equal to end so this means all the characters of current partition uh, accounted for or included all the occurrences of characters all the occurrences of all the characters included we have reached the end so we will push it to result what should be push i i is the current index or you can also write end since i is equal to end let's write i minus uh, this one start so this was the start of uh, the partition we are not changing the start we are changing the start only when we have concluded on one partition and we have included that in the result and then we forget this previous partition and make a fresh start so this b is nothing but this begin or we are calling it start here so then only we update the start plus 1 and uh, start equal to i plus 1 and it matches so let's submit and the solution is accepted so what is the time complexity here you see that uh, it's pretty good it's better than 98% of the submissions so clearly uh, we are making two passes of this string here and here so this is o of n if n is the number of characters and uh, uh, space we are using this 26 so you can uh, think of it as a constant space this 26 now let's uh, write this in java and python and the java solution is also accepted so finally let's write in python 3 so here uh, in order to get the sky value you are not allowed to do character arithmetic in python so get the sky value for both of these
and the python solution is also accepted